Today we're painting this. Hello everyone. Welcome. Today we're just going to be painting some sky and some mountains. Just a simple painting today. Wanted to get to know them better, so here we are. If you want to get to know an aspect of painting better, just paint those things. You don't have to paint what you think a complete picture is. Anything can be a complete picture. And sometimes it's fun to just paint a couple of elements in something like a landscape. So I put down a lot of colors there to start with, as you probably saw, and ended up not keeping them. That's kind of how painting goes sometimes. Just wanted kind of a standard blue sky with light towards the bottom. It's important to keep the bottom of the sky lighter than the top. And that is if you want to keep the sky looking realistic because that's how it looks in real life during daytime at least. And then for the sky I just have a two inch brush that I picked up at Home Depot or something that you don't need like a fine artist paintbrush to paint. All it takes is just any old brush and then I just dip the corner of that into titanium white and do swirling strokes with that to make these clouds in kind of irregular shapes but just kind of cloud shaped clouds you know yeah cloud shaped clouds that makes it easy but it's just a swirling stroke to make that happen then I just mixed up a little color here for the mountains all that is is black vermilion and sienna and it's kind of loosely mixed it doesn't really matter because when you use the brush it'll mix it the rest of the way and then use the brush and pulling down from the top to just kind of solidify the shape of your mountains and get an idea of how you want the highlight and the shadow to go in. That's starting to look good already. But then all I did was take just a plain titanium white and that's going to be our highlight color for these mountains. Just thought I'd go with some simple colors for these mountains. Just some pretty snow covered mountains or something like that. And then when you're putting in this highlight color, you just got to think about where the sun would be coming from. You pick a side and that's the side the sun's coming from. And it'll take a little bit of time of playing around with mountains and practicing with them to kind of understand what looks good and what kind of shapes mountains need to have to look realistic, to look like they, they don't look wonky. But you can just kind of play around with that. And if you don't get it right the first time, you can just keep playing back and forth. These are just acrylic paints and they dry quickly and you can just go over something really quickly. That's kind of the beauty of it. And then for that shadow color, I just played that back against the highlight color. That's just going to go everywhere that the highlight isn't. And that's just blue mixed with titanium white. And I wanted a little bit deeper blue towards the edge of that. I wanted a darker shadow. I wanted just more strokes in the mountain to make it look more realistic but I thought it was a little too blue so you just go back over it with titanium white and it ends up giving a lot of depth to your mountain a lot of depth to the painting well that's gonna be about it for this painting I hope you enjoyed the painting and if you liked the video please leave a like and if you really liked it subscribe thank you so much for watching <laughs>